Hello, 大家好 Let's read. Kua Fu chases the sun. In ancient times, a great mountain called Chengdu towered into the clouds in the desolate northern wilderness. Each day, Xi, the sun god, traveled a path far, far away from Mount Chengdu. So there was only darkness and extreme cold throughout the year, without a touch of sunlight. People there had to lead a very harsh life. At the foot of Mount Chengdu, there lived a brave giant named Kua Fu. To change such a bitter living environment, he decided to chase after the sun god. He wanted to persuade the sun god to change his path, to bring warmth and brightness to Mount Chengdu, but there were still people ready to endure the cold and darkness. They thought Kua Fu. Was making promises beyond his abilities. Some mocked him, while others tried to persuade him from his plan. Yet Kua Fu was determined and resolutely set foot on the path to chase down the sun. It was an arduous journey. Kua Fu tramped over countless hills and valleys and suffered various hardships and perils. Finally, the days began to grow brighter and brighter. Upon seeing the long-anticipated sun, Kua Fu was overjoyed. Yet the sun god traveled even faster. In a wink, he ran away quite a distance. Kua Fu remained resolute, striding forward to follow closely behind. As he continued chasing, his feet became worn out, leaving behind a trail of blood-red footprints, which soon turned into one brilliant red flower after another. After chasing over some more time, his legs grew exhausted and began to ache, so he snapped off a branch from a peach tree and used it as a walking stick. He gritted his teeth and kept up the chase. As he approached closer and closer to the sun, it became hotter and hotter. So Kua Fu grew very thirsty. When he got to the Yellow River, he emptied the river at one draft. As he reached the Wei River, he drank up all the water in one gulp. Then he arrived at a big lake in the north and quaffed up the lake. In the end, he caught up with the sun just as it was setting. At that moment, it became scorching hot, like a great furnace, and Kua Fu was terribly dehydrated. With the last of his strength, he groaned out his wish to the sun god, then fell to the ground and slowly closed his eyes. His walking stick fell to the earth and turned into flourishing peach trees. These trees bore countless sweet peaches to quench the thirst of later generations in their pursuit of brightness. The story reflects the strong wish of the ancient Chinese people to overcome drought. Although Kua Fu sacrificed himself, his undying spirit keeps inspiring the Chinese people. The legend of Kua Fu chasing the sun was recorded in many ancient books in China. If you're interested, check out Zhang Yixing's dance called Kua Fu Chases the Sun.